dear students of third standard today we'll start a new chapter in your english language okay before going to the lesson we'll have few discussion about the listening of stories as children of third standard i know that you all enjoy listening to stories because it will always excite you and make you involve a lot in the story nowadays telling stories at home or by your elders it's not seen a lot but you enjoy many stories when you watch tvs that to your cartoon stories but there are many stories even though you get the cartoon stories or movies but when it is read in the book or told by your parents grandparents you enjoy a lot so why am i telling this is as children we imagine things when you read or when somebody tells stories we imagine things i don't know how many of you have that habit but usually it is a very good habit wherein you imagine and you involve in it so here you have a short story from the story that is alice in the wonderland here you have a small story from that story series and the fictional character is here that is the white rabbit so it is a small story where alice goes on imagining about that rabbit or she herself gets involved with the journey of that white rabbit so you can enjoy it if you really get involved in that story and imagine how alice might have got involved with that white rabbit okay before starting that story we will go through few difficult words in the lessons so regarding the paragraphs which i go on discussing with you okay children let us start the lesson but concentrate on my reading and the pronunciation because when the videos when the video goes on or it is played you get the paragraphs of the lessons so when you watch the lesson what you have to do you have to concentrate on the lines and you have to listen how i read it or pronounce it and also the words which i have given you can concentrate on that okay children will listen so these are the few words regarding the first few paragraphs what i am explaining peeped peeped the meaning is to look through usually what do you do when you are in the class when teacher takes class or when ma'am is busy with their work you start peeping out of the window isn't it ah it's the same word peeped the children peeped out of the classroom i have taken the same sentence because you have experience of that and you will understand the meaning the children peeped out of the classroom conversation conversation a talk when you talk to your parents or when you talk to your friends when both of us talk to each other you call it as a conversation friends always like to have conversation with each other so whenever you get 5 minutes of time or a break usually what do you do you run to your friends or you start talking to the benchmate or your friends so that is called as conversation waistcoat a clothing that covers the upper body waistcoat it is the coat that covers the upper body waistcoat is worn as a formal dress waistcoat is worn as a formal dress when you wear formal dress so then you use this waistcoat pop down see one more which is interesting to you all like peep pop down quickly jump into suddenly you jump into something or jump from somewhere that is called as pop down the child pop down to get the toy so what did the child do it suddenly jumped out and picked its toy so that is called as pop down moment moment is very less period of time a small or a less period of time sit quietly for a moment so it is the instruction given 
sit quietly for a moment okay now this is a lesson see the name of the lesson or the heading down 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 so when you go on with the lesson you will come to know why this heading is given to the chapter so concentrate on my reading now alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the river bank and doing nothing once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading but it had no pictures or conversations in it what is the use of a book thought alice without pictures or conversations say being children of lower classes or when you are in your younger age usually you like the books with lots of pictures and conversation isn't it so alice was also such a girl so what was she doing alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the river bank and doing nothing so where was alice so she was sitting by her sister by means sitting close to her sister or near to her sister and she was feeling very tired boring because she had nothing to do she did not have any work to do she was just sitting near her once or twice what did she do she peeped she peeped into the book that her sister was reading her sister was reading some book and she was very tired and she was feeling bored she peeped into the book what her sister was reading but how was the book the book did not have any pictures or conversations so the book had few lines wherein her sister was interested in reading but she was a poor little girl so she wanted a book with lots of pictures and conversations so she felt what is this book it did not have any pictures or conversations now see what is the thought she gets what is the use of a book thought alice without pictures or conversation she did not feel that it was a very interesting book so she was thinking so she was sitting and thinking something see this is how the story goes on it's a fictional story I means it's a narrated story or uh, but here everything goes according to the imagination of alice she was thinking see now it suddenly changes to the imagination of alice when suddenly a white rabbit with pink eyes ran close by her so she came out of the situation there she left the company of her sister now she is into her own world so she was sitting and thinking suddenly she got to see a rabbit and it had pink eyes and what did it do it suddenly ran very close to her so close by her it ran the rabbit seemed worried it said to itself oh dear oh dear i shall be late it took a watch out of its waistcoat pocket looked at it and then hurried on see completely a imaginary world so here what does the rabbit do it ran by her but it seemed worried so it it had some tension or problem and it said to itself it went on talking oh dear oh dear i shall be late i'm getting late and what did it do it took out a watch from the waistcoat pocket and again it was in a very hurried situation or it hurried on hurried on means it ran very fast so can you all imagine this a rabbit with pink eyes and it is wearing a waistcoat and it is running and suddenly it takes out a watch from out of the pocket of its waistcoat so enjoy this way if you really imagine then you can enjoy this story now you have a picture here so you can see that the rabbit it is wearing the coat it has got that watch and alice is behind that rabbit alice jumped to her feet she had never before seen a rabbit with either a waistcoat pocket or a watch to take out of it she ran across the field after it she was just in time to see it pop down 
a large rabbit hole under some bushes. In another moment, down went. So we'll continue in the next slide. So see here, now what is happening there? Alice jumped to her feet. So she was sitting beside to her sister. Suddenly she jumped to her feet, means stand up. Stand up, jump to her feet, means stand up, stand on your feet. So suddenly she stood up. She had never seen before a rabbit either with the waistcoat or a watch. So this was something, a very interesting one. She was completely excited seeing a rabbit wearing that coat and taking a watch out of its pocket. She ran across the field after it. Wherever that rabbit ran, she also ran with that or she followed it. She was just in time to see it pop down a large rabbit hole under some bushes. So she was very close to the rabbit and she saw it. Just in time means she was at the appropriate placing there or she was there at the appropriate time and she observed that the rabbit popped down. Suddenly it jumped into the rabbit hole. Usually you know where does a rabbit live? It will dig the burrow. Isn't it? Burrow. And it will go inside that. So there was a rabbit hole and suddenly it jumped into that rabbit hole that was under some bushes. Bushy area means you get to see short plants covered very close to each other. So within that bush there was a rabbit hole and the rabbit jumped into that hole. So imagine all those things. In another moment down went. Down went. So the continuation is there. So before that we will go for the words in those paragraphs. Tunnel underground pa passage or the passage so underground when you have the passage where you can pass that is called as the tunnel the train passed through the tunnel sometimes when you travel in the train you might have experienced it wherein the train goes through the tunnel pegs pegs are nails or pins which are used to Hung, which are used to hang the charts or calendars or any pictures. So here charts are hung upon pegs in the classroom. Charts are hung upon pegs in the classroom. So this is your classroom experience. So many charts will be hung in your classroom. So what is used? The pegs. Pegs are the nails or the pins. Think nothing of. This is a completely new usage for you all. Think nothing of. So it's a combination of words. There are more than one word. Think nothing of. So what's the meaning? Never be afraid of. You don't think anything. You don't worry. Suddenly you act. You do something. So never be afraid of. Children will think nothing of when they are playing. So when you are involved in your play or in the game spirit you don't worry about anything you are not afraid of anything you enjoy like anything isn't it so that is called as the usage think nothing of tumbling tumbling fall suddenly tumbling means suddenly you sometimes your feet gets what is that uh, suddenly skipped off your feet skips off and you fall that is called as tumbling in Kannada you can tell it as edvi bilu antadu okay suddenly your feet gets stuck off because of your sudden action or you may get dashed to something and you fall that is called as tumbling the children keep tumbling down when they play the children keep tumbling down when they play you are involved so much even if there is a big stone in front of you or even if there is something in front of you, you don't see and suddenly you tumble and fall. See most of the sentences what I have done is I have taken from your own experiences that is what children do and some of your classroom ex experiences because I felt you will all understand those sentences very easily so that you can also know the meanings of the words. 
Next one is mile. M I L E mile. It's a measure or a long way. So many miles you tell. It's two miles. It is two miles. So that is the measure or long way. We have to walk a mile to reach the temple. We have to walk a mile. A mile means one mile. We have to walk a mile to reach the temple. Usually a mile is equal to 1.6 kilometers. So you have to walk such distance. So that is a mile. So all these words are there in the next paragraphs. What we are going to discuss. Okay there. Alice after it. So suddenly you saw there. What happened? Alice started following the rabbit. She went after it. After which? After the rabbit. Never once thinking how she was to get out again. So what was the situation there? The rabbit suddenly it popped into the rabbit hole. So it popped into the rabbit hole. Now what is Alice doing? She never thought of anything. She also went. Never once thinking. She was not afraid. She just followed the rabbit and she also went into that burrow or the rabbit hole. The rabbit hole went straight on like a tunnel for some way and then dropped down so suddenly that Alice found herself falling down a very deep well. So burrow is like always it will be very deep. Now what happened there? The rabbit hole it was very straight. She was just falling down and it was like a tunnel. So there was no end. She was not getting the end to come out of from the other side. Other side it was very straight. For some way it was straight and then what happened? She started dropping down. Drop down means going down. Dropping down so suddenly that Alice found herself falling down very fast, very swiftly. She was falling down a very deep well. Okay children, we will stop the first part of the lesson here and continue the lesson in the next part. Thank you.